the International System of Units SI. SI stands for International System of Units and is derived from French Système International de Units. The International System of Units SI is a system for measuring quantities. Measurements in science should be standardized for them to be useful. The SI is necessary in order to have the same values of measurement all over the world. The SI is used to measure basic quantities and derived quantities in science, technology, industry, and business. Basic quantities The basic quantities include 1. Mass 2. Temperature 3. Length 4. Time 5. Electric current 6. Luminous intensity or the light intensity 7. Amount of substance The basic SI units include uh, The symbol S meaning second is the SI unit for time M which stands for meter is the SI unit for length Kg meaning kilogram is the SI unit for mass A meaning amphia is the SI unit for electric current K meaning Kelvin is the SI unit for temperature mole meaning mole is the SI unit for amount of substance CD meaning candela is the SI unit for light intensity the first basic quantity we are checking here is temperature what is temperature temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a substance object or place the SI unit for temperature is the Kelvin abbreviated as K now we always know that our thermometer which we use to measure temperature is uh, calibrated with the degrees Celsius now how can we convert the degrees Celsius into Kelvin so for us to convert degrees Celsius into Kelvin we have to add 273 for example if we have 20 degrees Celsius we take 20 degrees Celsius we add to 273 to have 293 Kelvin if we have 37 degrees Celsius for us to convert it into Kelvin we have to add that 7 plus 273 which will give us 310 Kelvin what about if we have the negative degrees Celsius to be converted into Kelvin so what we need to do is simply add that value to 73 so for example we have negative 14 degrees Celsius that is negative 14 plus 273 that is the same as subtracting 14 from 273 to get 259 Kelvin if we have negative 21 degrees Celsius we will take negative 21 plus 273 which is the same as 273 minus 21 to get 252 Kelvin and now what about converting Kelvin into degrees Celsius to convert Kelvin into degrees Celsius we subtract 273 it is the vice versa of the one we are done we have just done so for example if we have 283 Kelvin for us to convert the 283 Kelvin into degrees Celsius we will subtract 273 from 283 to have 10 degrees Celsius now if we are given 333 Kelvin for us to convert it into degrees Celsius we subtract the 333 to 273 to have 60 degrees Celsius and if we have a lower value to 273 like for example we have 240 Kelvin for us to convert it into degrees Celsius we simply subtract the value to 273 that is having a negative value of 23 degrees Celsius also if we have 222 we subtract that 222 to 273 to have a negative value of 51 degrees Celsius so what you have to note is that when converting into degrees into degrees Celsius and the value is less than 273 i.e. we have 268 Kelvin 
we need to subtract the value from 273 and add the negative sign before. E.g. for 268 we take 268 we subtract from 273 to have 5. So we simply add the negative value before 5 to have negative 5 degrees Celsius. So you need to do more practice. using thermometer we have various types of thermometer and the one which we mostly use is the clinic thermometer using the alcohol so when you have that thermometer you have to dip it into the solution or maybe the substance we need to know its temperature and remember the temperature we need to know can be either the hotness or the coldness of that substance so ensure that the bottom of that thermometer does not touch the bottom of your container when using a thermometer you have to know the red line which is in then when once the temperature is rising you will have to read it from the lower meniscus or when it falls you will still have to read it from the lower meniscus indicated by the red line inside the thermometer Now can you try the following assessments? Number one, we need you to convert the values given from degree Celsius into Kelvin. And our second question there is asking you to convert the values from Kelvin into degree Celsius. <laughs> 